Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are diving headfirst into the realm of aviation's future as the United States has ushered in a new era of air travel, leaving us in the rest in awe and wonder. They have introduced an aircraft with fusion propulsion that is only redefining efficiency, but also elevating safety and environmental responsibility to unprecedented heights. With limitless range and endurance, these fusion-powered jets are doing more than just rewriting the rules of military strategy. They're revolutionizing global aviation as we know it. And at the forefront of this extraordinary technological breakthrough is none other than Lockheed Martin, a name synonymous with cutting-edge aerospace innovation. Join us as we explore the remarkable fusion-powered fighter from Lockheed Martin that has sent shockwaves through the aviation world. In 2018, Lockheed Martin made waves in aerospace technology by unveiling an ambitious vision for the future of flight through a groundbreaking patent application. This patent introduced the world to a remarkable innovation, a plasma confinement system designed to fit within the slim body of an F-16 fighter jet. What made it truly revolutionary was its ability to withstand and control internal temperatures 10 times hotter than the core of the sun. This represented a major leap in the quest to harness the incredible power of nuclear fusion for defense purposes, and it had far-reaching implications. This breakthrough raised the prospect of nuclear fusion going beyond its previous limits, potentially reshaping the foundations of global conflict. In the coming decades, nuclear fusion could redefine the nature of warfare, offering new ways to address conflicts that have plagued humanity for centuries. What made this even more intriguing was the veil of secrecy surrounding it, tucked away in the enigmatic world of the Pentagon's black budget. The most advanced and covert projects were investing resources in this technology, recognizing its potential to prevent wars before they even started. The concept of fusion-powered aircraft, once thought of as science fiction, had quietly become a subject of intense interest. This development traced its roots back to the realization that splitting the atom could yield immense energy. Early attempts to integrate nuclear propulsion into aircraft designs were ambitious, but fraught with complexity and risk. It was a brave new frontier where science, engineering, and politics collided. Various nuclear-powered aviation projects, from Project Pluto's supersonic nuclear missile to the hybrid B-36 bomber with an airborne nuclear reactor, were audacious and visionary in hindsight. However, the potential hazards and geopolitical consequences of accidents involving these nuclear reactors led the world away from fission-based aviation, with only Russia persisting with its enigmatic Skyfall missile program, albeit with numerous setbacks. Returning to Lockheed Martin's 2014 patent, which was awarded in 2018, it described a device capable of generating a robust magnetic field to confine superheated plasma far more effectively than existing fusion systems. This innovative design formed the foundation of Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works Compact Fusion Reactor Program. What made it groundbreaking was its potential to expedite the development of smaller, more efficient fusion reactors potentially revolutionizing energy production. The patent also promised to achieve an unprecedented leap in efficiency with a projected beta limit of 100%. The document explored numerous applications, including powering aircraft carriers and providing emergency electricity in disaster-stricken cities. However, the most intriguing possibility was the integration of a fusion reactor into the fuselage of an F-16 fighter jet. To grasp the significance of the concept, it's essential to understand how nuclear fusion can revolutionize aircraft propulsion. Fusion offers incredible efficiency, 748 million percent greater than conventional oil-based propulsion. Lockheed, a pioneering company, proposes using fusion reactors to generate high-temperature plasma for aircraft propulsion, eliminating the need for traditional liquid fuel. This innovation promises boundless flight range and endurance, transforming aviation by removing fuel constraints. Not only does fusion offer military aircraft remarkable capabilities, but it also presents lower accident risks and reduced environmental impact compared to fission reactors. This extends its potential to shape global energy production and conflict mitigation strategies. 
Historically, fission's practical applications were primarily in naval contexts, leading to nuclear-powered submarines and aircraft carriers, renowned for their endurance. In aviation, ambitious projects emerged like Project Pluto, a nuclear-powered supersonic missile with a unique ability to cover vast distances. The Convair NB-36, on the other hand, combined traditional fuel for takeoff and landing with a nuclear reactor for sustained flight, serving as a nuclear deterrent during the Cold War. Today, the landscape has changed. Russia stands as the only nation pursuing fission-powered aerial platforms, notably the Skyfall missile. However, this project has faced significant setbacks and doubts about its feasibility and practicality. The inherent complexities and risks associated with fission reactors have made this pursuit less appealing and potentially non-viable. In our modern world, environmental concerns and geopolitical stability are top priorities, and fission-powered aviation is a thing of the past. Fission, which involves splitting large atoms, has seen a resurgence in clean energy discussions, but it still grapples with long-lasting radioactive waste issues. Fusion, on the other hand, presents a safer alternative without the risk of meltdowns and produces shorter-lived radioactive waste. Fusion holds immense potential for limitless, clean, and efficient energy generation, offering a substantial leap in energy production. Its efficiency is estimated to be three to four times greater than fission, and it stands out with its abundant fuel sources, like deuterium and tritium, as opposed to fission's reliance on scarce materials like uranium and plutonium. The primary challenge has been the colossal energy needed to superheat the reactor and control the plasma reaction, which has been a hurdle in realizing practical fusion power. However, there is progress in this field. Recent achievements, such as the remarkable world record set by the joint European Taurus fusion reactor, are reigniting optimism. In an interview with Newsweek, Fernanda Romini, the senior manager of the project, highlighted the significance of their milestone, emphasizing that it surpasses previous efforts, even though the duration of sustained fusion is limited to a few seconds. As scientists, engineers, and visionaries continue to tackle the complexities of fusion, the dream of clean, abundant, and sustainable energy production is coming closer to reality. The fusion of science, innovation, and determination holds the key to a brighter and more sustainable future, where the boundless energy of the sun becomes an accessible and transformative force for all. The landscape of nuclear fusion, with its potential to revolutionize energy production, is a realm of scientific and engineering marvels. Among the various fusion confinement systems, Tokamaks and Stellarators are the most prominent, each with its unique history and principles. Tokamaks, tracing back to the pioneering work of Soviet physicists Igor Tom and Andrei Sakharov in the 1950 EES, use a toroidal magnetic field to contain the superheated plasma at the heart of fusion reactions. Back in 1951, Lyman Spitzer from Princeton came up with a fascinating idea called Stellars, these are devices that use twisted magnetic fields to keep super-hot plasma under control. It's just one example of the many creative ways scientists have been exploring to achieve nuclear fusion, which holds the key to virtually endless and clean energy. Now, fusion research isn't just about stellars. It encompasses various approaches, including inertial confinement systems. Scientists and engineers in this field are constantly pushing the limits of what's possible, making it vital for us to verify information independently from reliable sources. Dr. Thomas McGuire, who heads the Skunk Works, highlights a groundbreaking patent that has some exciting potential applications. These range from powering massive aircraft carriers to deploying compact fusion reactors in disaster-stricken cities for emergency electricity generation. But perhaps the most thrilling idea is fitting a fusion reactor into an F-16 fighter jet. To understand why this is a game changer, let's compare it to traditional jet engines. These engines work by burning fuel, whereas a fusion reactor uses nuclear fusion to create incredibly high temperature plasma. This means longer flight times and less need for frequent refueling, which is a big deal for military aviation. Not only that, but this could revolutionize aviation as a whole. Think about it, planes, drones, and other aircraft could operate without needing to refuel constantly. The potential is huge, and unlike traditional nuclear systems, 
fusion reactors pose very low risks. The benefits extend beyond aviation, as the current reliance on liquid fuel affects everything from aircraft design to combat strategies. Lockheed Martin's concept for containerized fusion might just break these limitations. However, it's important to remember that fusion isn't replacing traditional fuels anytime soon. We still have a decent supply of oil for about 48 more years, but fusion does require a substantial initial investment. For now, it might find a home in some high-tech projects, like the ones hidden away in Area 51 or those exotic submarine programs funded by the Pentagon. Fusion technology's shift from military to commercial use offers exciting prospects. This innovative energy source, with its clean and nearly boundless potential, could transform various industries. Consider how fusion power might revolutionize commercial aviation. As compact and efficient fusion reactors develop, airlines might invest in fusion-driven aircraft. These planes could boast extended ranges, reduced environmental impact, and lower operating costs. The initial investment may be substantial, but the long-term advantages could drive airlines to embrace this groundbreaking technology. In a nutshell, Fusion's far-reaching impact extends to global energy production, space exploration, advanced medicine, industry, and tackling water scarcity. This limitless potential heralds innovation and a cleaner, more sustainable future across diverse sectors. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.